Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Today I'm out here in the cold 285 sector and you can very probably guess why that is. It's a rapidly growing area filled with human activity and yes, because of the recently discovered triple the low temperature diamond mining hotspot that's here. What's particularly gained my interest is the sheer number of fleet carriers that are now out this way. Now the mining area, the mining hotspot, is around about 250 light years away from Seoul, so really it's not the ideal location for a regular mining ship. But that doesn't prevent fleet carriers coming out this way and making the whole load, the whole work, that much easier. So what I really wanted to see was not so much the mining hotspot itself, although we will take a very quick look at that towards the end of the video, but what I did want to see were the number of fleet carriers out here. Now yesterday I made a video saying that there was so far as reported on Inara around about 6,200 fleet carriers sold and that has now increased to around about 7,000. Now of course there's not 7,000 fleet carriers out this way but there is a lot. Now there are a number of things going on out this way with the fleet carriers but of course the number one activity is mining and fleet carriers are perfect for that because basically they are a great big huge personal storage vessel uh, essentially, you can keep mining and keep transferring that ore to your fleet carrier until you fill up the, the uh, cargo hold here, which is 25,000 tonnes, and then return that all back to the bubble for some pretty huge profits. Now, quite naturally, the system itself where the mining is taking place is absolutely chock full of fleet carriers, so people are having to park right nearby. Uh, this, by the way, is not the only triple hotspot within this region of space. There are others, but as far as I can see, this is probably the best one. So I'm parked down here in my fleet carrier. Let's jump in and have a look at that particular system. Uh, you can see there's there's a fair fair amount of uh, fleet carriers here. Not a huge amount, plenty of room still if you want to come out this way. But the interesting thing is taking a look at other systems around here. And I don't have the system map for that, so I did have to fly to those. But basically it turned out that no matter which system you fly to in the neighborhood here, there will be at least a few fleet carriers usually in the region of maybe six or so, but sometimes many, many more. Now, not everyone is using their fleet carrier purely for storage. There are some other activities going on here, especially among people with some fairly inventive names for their fleet carriers. Some things in particular you'll notice as you're flying around are ships called I buy low temperature diamonds for 900,000 credits or I buy tritium for X amount of credits. Whatever, so these people are basically buying the commodities that people are mining. Now, what this means is that players who don't have a fleet carrier can come out this way, do some mining, and still sell for a decent amount of money. Meanwhile, the fleet carrier, once loaded up, will head all the way back to the bubble and sell it for a slightly improved or slightly higher amount of money. Basically, it's a win-win scenario. Both sides of the uh, case win here. So this is the system in question, the one with the triple mining hotspot and just look at the amount of fleet carriers here. It's basically full up, there's no more spaces available, so that is why players are parking in other locations. So, yep, sure, it's early days yet, and I think some of this will settle down, and there will be a bit of a race to the bottom with prices, but all in all, fleet carriers are definitely opening up new possibilities. Already, there's services to Colonia being planned, there's ships that have made it out into the depth of space such as Beagle Point and Sagittarius A. Not to mention the ongoing work for the Deep Space Support Array, which will allow a fleet carrier in basically every region of space, every region of the galaxy. Now, if you do want to head on over to the low temperature diamond hotspot, this isn't a tutorial, but I will show you very quickly how to find it. You can see there are three circles overlapping here, and you find this by firing a probe at the uh, ring system, exactly as you do when mining and you want to head to the area right in the center where all the three circles overlap. That will be extremely dense with low temperature diamonds. Basically, you won't have to search far before you find these. Simply then, after that, what I do is look for asteroids that have low temperature diamonds at a ratio of around about 15% or so. Anything above that is very good, and in short order, you'll be able to make around about 200 to maybe 240 million credits an hour so long as you can sell them for around about one and a half to 1.7 million credits and there's plenty of places available purchasing them for that at the moment so do check it out as always thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys and girls next time